Welcome to the state television campaign of Western Armenia, today's broadcast. The House of Representatives of Uruguay voted in favor of the draft on April 24 as the Day of Remembrance of the Genocide Against Armenians. Regular session of the National Assembly of the Republic of Western Armenia. Erdogan decided to protect Western Armenia from Israel. Eastern Armenia will open an embassy in Kipros. Assimilation, reassimilation, and Hamshan is a silver axe symbol of power in the Armenian highlands. On May 14, the House of Representatives of Uruguay unanimously approved 74 votes in favor of 74 deputies present. The draft law is declaring April 24 as the Remembrance Day of the Genocide against the Armenians. Every year, which obliques all state TV and radio channels to remember April 24 every year at the same as the Day of Genocide against the Armenians. It is noted that this initiative was approved by the Senate on May 7, so if there is no consideration by the executive body, it will be published as a law in the coming days. The approved draft establishes by this article that April 24 of each year is declared as the Day of Remembrance of the Genocide Against Armenians for the broadcast of audiovisual content of radio and open television for subscribers with the television zone signals and television services. The project was presented by parliamentarians Nesmi Camargo, Maria Eugenia, Rosella, Jean Martin, Rodriguez and Michel Melgar, MPS Pedro Gistondian, Carlos Varela, Rafael Menendez, Ivan Posada, Maria Eugenza, Rosello, Felie Algorta Rugo Camera, Obalda Aita, and Juan Martin Rodriguez participated in the parliamentary debate in favor of the project. During their speeches, several of them condemned the way of tactic by Turkey that which caused Baku's crimes against the people of Armenia and Artsakh in recent years, including the destruction of Armenian cultural heritage. According to the source, the project approved by both chambers is based on the initiative of Dr. Gustavo Van Shekyan of the Evangelical Church. After it became public, received the support of various institutions of the Armenian community. On May 7, the House of Senators of Uruguay voted in favor of the draft law declaring April 24 as the Remembrance Day of the Genocide against the Armenians. Every year, which obliques all state TV and radio channels to address the topic of the genocide against the Armenians at the same time, every year on April 24. On May 15, the regular session of the National Assembly of Western Armenia was held on the Skype online platform. Kaini Tadevosian, Vice Chairwoman of the National Assembly of Western Armenia, handled the agenda items at the session. On the agenda was the speech of the President of the National Council of Western Armenia, Mr. Armenak Abrahamian, addressed to the deputies on the occasion of the upcoming Parliamentary Day, May 24. Ms. Lydia Markosian, the President of the Western Armenia, also took part in the National Assembly session, who welcomed the attendees and wished them successes in the work in the legislative body. Deputy Foreign Minister of the Republic of Western Armenia, Vartan Simonia, was present at the session to at the end of the session. A number of agenda and current issues were also discussed. Erdogan decided to protect Western Armenia from Israel. Erdogan said that if Israel is not stopped action in the Gaza Strip, sooner or later it will target occupied Western Armenia as well. Erdogan now noticed in the parliament at the session of the ruling Justice and Development Party faction. Erdogan noted that Ankara will continue to support the radical Palestinian Hamas movement, which, as he said, is fighting not only for the freedom of its land, but also defends the front line of Anatolia. At the same time, Erdogan received the head of the Ministry of Justice Yilmiz Tung and the head of the National Intelligence Organization of Turkey, Ibrahim Kalin. According to the Dunya's newspaper, this happened against the background of the statements of Devlet Basil, the leader of the Turkish Nationalist Movement Party, about the possible preparation of a cup in the country. Yesterday, Basil announced that a conspiracy is being prepared against the Republican Alliance, which includes the MHPA and the Justice and Development Party led by the president. Let's remind that Western Armenia is the homeland of Armenian civilization. The section mentioned by Erdogan includes Agri, Ardahan, Bingol, Bitlis, Elazir, Erzinga, Karin, Hagyari, Igdir, Kaz, Malatya, Mush, Terzim, Tunjelin, and Van. In 1878, the 3 and 4 percent of the 4 million inhabitants of these provinces were Armenians. Israel, hand in hand with Russia, Turkey, and their illegitimate Sambaku, in 2020-2023 has already taken over the Armenian lands in Artsakh, creating a powerful anti-Armenian and anti-Iranian platform. The protest did not stop the demarcation. The issue of the Artsakh is closed by consensus. In fact, the protest in Eastern Armenia did not stop the demarcation of Davos. Yesterday, as expected, a meeting of the Joint Commission took place right on the border, and finally the maps on the basis of which the border is drawn became already known.
It is about in 1976, topographical map of the general staff of the armed forces of the USSR. The Office of the Prime Minister of Eastern Armenia reported that the reproduction of the borderline in these parts has been completed, agreed, signed, and the border is those parts is considered demarcated. This is really nonsense in international relations, but in Armenia everything is possible. Land is absolute in discussion making. The protesters who successfully attempted to stop the process of demarcation, then towards reach Yerevan, where they are also talking about about the need to stop the illegal process. But the main emphasis was shifted to the change of power in Eastern Armenia, the visibly futile impeachment procedure and the righteous protest not only did not stop the catastrophic process of the country's collapse, but also prompted the government to act faster. The government claims that the border was redrawn on the basis of the Alma-Ata declaration and the process should continue with the same logic and the same principles in the part of the border. It is not said which part we are talking about, but obviously not about the occupied Armenian territories. It is easy to guess that the next one will be Tigran Arshen, Kiarki, who will also surrender in accordance with the declaration of Almata. Because in reality, everything is done not with dubious map and declaration, but according to the criminal conspiracy to hand over all the strategic points of army to Baku, the Armenian government needs the Almata declaration for only one purpose, to completely close the issue of Artsakh. And judging by the fact that the protest only accelerated the implementation of the criminal conspiracy and did not present any demands to the OSCEC chairman in Yerevan regarding the Minsk group, the Artsakh issue will be closed by consensus with Lavrov, Schulz, Blinken and Natahayu as witnesses. Eastern Armenia will open an embassy in the Republic of Cyprus. The residence will be in Nicosia. At the May 16th the session of the government, the project was included in the package of the non-reportable issues. In the retinal attached to the draft, it is stated that Eastern Armenia and the Republic of Cyprus perceive each other as traditionally friendly countries. During the past decade, Armenia and Cyprus managed to develop strong interest relations. A high-level political dialogue is currently underway between the two countries, and there is a multi-sector bilateral agenda. The continuous development of Armenian Cyprus relations has been highlighted by mutual visits of higher ranking officers, the creation of a wide legal treaty field, an active political and economic dialogue between the two countries, states the project. It is stated in the justification that currently the embassies of the two countries operate jointly. The seat of the Armenian embassy in Cyprus is the Athens, and the Cyprus embassy in Armenia is now in Moscow. In 2024, on March 14, the Cyprus side informed in an official statement about the decision of the Council of Ministers of Cyprus on February 27, 2024, to open a diplomatic representation, it means Embassy of Cyprus in Armenia, with the expectation of receiving the agreement of Armenian government. The Foreign Minister of Cyprus has officially announced this with the framework of the official visit to Armenia on March 7. The diplomatic presence in Cyprus will be contributed to the further development of Armenian Cyprus relations. In the context of all this, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs considers the opening of the Armenian Embassy in Cyprus appropriate, which is in the line with the foreign policy in the interests of the Republic of Armenia, the Retional State. Assimilation, re-assimilation and Hamshenis. In the context of the accelerated assimilation process in occupied Western Armenia in recent decades, Hamshan's Armenians have also started a certain struggle against assimilation, especially their progressive representatives and intellectuals with left-wing views. As it is known, the Hamshan dialects of Armenian language is occupied Western Armenia, according to UNESCO data, is among the language in danger of extinction. In order to preserve the Hamsha language and culture as early as 2018, the Attic Union was founded in Istanbul, and in 2014, again in Turkey, the Hamsha magazine Gore began to be published. Mario Skan, one of Hamsha Armenian intellectuals, has made an invaluable contribution to these works whose efforts to preserve the native language and culture are also visible from year one. Many of his articles were often translated and published on the official website of the study of Western Armenia and Western Armenian issues. Western Armenia TV presents without cut and a remarkable article by Mahir Ozagan, due to which it becomes obvious that some representatives of Hamshan Armenian intellectuals living in occupied Western Armenia continue the struggle for preserving their identity and also search for new ways and means to oppose the Turkish policy of assimilation. You can get acquainted with the article of the website of Western Armenian TV. The silver act dating from the 21st-22 centuries was found during the excavation of the Karasham monument from the so-called royal tomb. The tomb was discovered in 1987. It is a complex complex, where for the first time, according to experts, the axe is not just a tool or a weapon, but a symbol of power. 
During a meeting with journalist uh, Armine Zohrabian, research founder of the Department of Archaeology and Numismatic of the Museum of History of Eastern Armenia, stated that it shows that the state entitled living in the Armenian highlands had their own ideas about power at that time. Among other finds, the silver ritual sacrificial stone was found in the famous tomb of Karasham. The battle axe had a ritual significance. It is a magnificent example of a ceremonial weapon. The scabbard is one piece. The bow-shaped curved combat blade has the shape of a saddle in the limbs. With a smooth transition, the kotar connects to the horizontally placed support bar, the shishak, the center of which is crowned with a spherical protosin. In the center of the bowel, there is an oval ho for a hole and handle. The axe is bordered on the both sides with a spiritually twisted, uninterrupted relief, the specialist noted. Zohra Bian explained when the axe is particularly acquired the significance of a symbol of power. There was already a mythology, and according to mythology, the main god built the balance of the world, the axis, the right and the left by means of an axe, when he strikes with the axe and splits the world in two. According to him, the axe has gained an important importance in the government as a tool for making court decisions. This sample is ex exceptional because this is the only example of an axe in the region which is made of silver. At the same time, there are many axes of this, the same type, but all of them are made of copper and bronze, he noted. The expert emphasized that it is not by chance that the king god is depicted on the Karashambi cup holding a sword in his hand, and military spoils are placed in front of his. This indicates that the axe is an attribute symbolizing power which could also be used during rituals. This was all for today. Goodbye.